I might sell my Q60. Here's the thing. You know when you have a car for such a while, you start to like contemplate. And me personally, I kind of compared myself to like people I've watched on YouTube. I used to see them like having the VR30, having a new Nissan Z, like Martini works. He had a new Nissan Z and he got rid of it. I'm like seeing like the reality of certain things. Like people aren't really keeping the car. Like people that have VR30s don't really keep it. They either get a B58, a VQ, or even upgrade to a GTR. So I'm kind of debating, should I even keep it? Like, I don't have to follow them, but for some reason, all of them, there has to be some reason all of them are just like getting rid of the platform after a while. Like they're not staying on it. They're moving on to something else. I'll give you an example. I've seen a couple of people either go VQ or B58 for some reason. Me, I'm one of them because after I got my Q60, I got a G37 right after. Cause when I was driving my Q, I felt like I was missing something. When I had my other G, I had something, and when I got my Q, it just felt like it didn't have it. So when I got another G, I started to feel that same feeling. Like, some sort of feeling you have in a VQ is not the same as a VR30, bro. A VR30 is quick and all, but something about a VQ just hits different. You cannot compare it. Um, But yeah, I want to give an example to, like, Onset Media. So a couple of guys, the example is this guy. He has a 370Z that he's VR30 swapped. He went to LS and he went back to VQ. There has to be a reason these guys are going back to VQ for some reason after owning a VR30 technically. And it's not just him. It's more than uh, just him. A lot of people are doing that for some reason. I want to know why. And technically, I know the reason why in my head, but I just don't want to accept it. Maybe the VQ is better. The VR30 again is just faster. But the VQ has been proven time over and over again to be a funner car. Like the VQ comes manual from factory the vr30 doesn't unless you get a z and that, that that car is taxed like a lot of stuff in the vr30 is taxed and this guy for an example right the price he paid for his vr30 was kind of less than a lot of other people if you think about it and i understand why he didn't go for another vr30 because if you see the platform it's kind of taxed it's a really taxed platform in comparison to another uh other platforms like, if you were to go on Facebook Marketplace and get an engine, he was lucky. If you were to be an average person and get an engine on Facebook Marketplace, it's going to cost you like $5,000. $5,000 flat. To build a car is going to cost a couple grand. He blew his motor and he said, you know what? I'm just going to hop out of this. There's some reason. Some figure is telling me to just get away from the VR30. I know he enjoyed it for the time being, but when you have an engine in your car that isn't working for so long... You want to go into something that's more reliable so you can actually enjoy your car. You know what I'm saying? I'm only making this video because it might be relatable to some other people that might be going through the same type of crisis. Like, yo, should I keep my car? Should I not keep my car? What's the reason I'm even keeping my car? My situation is different. Other people, they had headaches with their VR30. I haven't really had a problem besides the belt. I really haven't had a problem besides the belt. But I don't, want, I don't know if I want to stick around to deal with the more problems, bro. Because that could be a headache I don't even think I want to deal with. If I could just... Do with some a platform that might be easier, you know what I'm saying? Again, my situation's different. This is not my only car. I don't rely on this thing really. So if something was to go south, I wouldn't really be messed up in any way, honestly. Other people, this is their one and only car. Like they have warranty, they don't or they don't have warranty, and it it's just a headache for them. Me, I'm just gonna park the car and leave it there. <laughs> I'll just park the car and leave it there for a while until I figure out something I want to do with it. But luckily, that's my decision. But do I even want to keep it until that time comes? That's the thing. Maybe I should just get rid of it and, you know, do a different platform that was proven time and time again to be more fun, you know? I really want a manual. I really want a manual, bro. The next car has to be a manual. Like, I don't even know if I want to keep the VR30. Like, if it blows up, I don't even know if I want to keep the engine in it. I don't think I'm going to want to put another VR30 in it like that guy did. I'm going to be like, yo, bro, honestly, let me put a VK56 V8 in it. Let me put an LS in it. Let me put a VQ in it. Let me not put a VR30 in it because, you know, I just don't want to deal with the headache again. I just want to deal with something new. It's a beautiful car. Don't get me wrong. Q60, Q50, Nissan Z, they're all beautiful cars. It's just the engine can sort of be 50-50, you know, with how people are having it. And I just don't want to be stung with like that with one.